Hey, welcome back, it's Josh. Today, we're gonna beam internet from the side of the house over to the barn dough and into a access point inside of there. We are going to use one of these. This is from Ulna. It is a wireless bridge. So, these things uh, are basically going to get mounted, one on the house, one on the barn dough, pointed at one another, and they will beam the internet just as if we trenched that line with the backhoe and ran a connection between the two buildings. The crazy part is these are up to like three kilometers, like over five miles if they are not obstructed in any way. So if you have got a building or, you know, a small city or town that you're trying to enable, you can use these. And one of these I think can beam to up to three, maybe more. I think I saw in the example three. Uh, so this would be considered the master connected to the house where the internet is. Each of these would be the slaves, they would be the receivers of the signal, and then you come out of those into other devices. And so that could be a whole nother building, like what we're doing here, to where I come out of here, I can go into an access point and just give myself internet. I could come out of this and go into a switch, which allows me to go, you know, one uh, ethernet plug in to many other devices, uh, so, or a router and have different uh, LAN systems. I'm not gonna go any further than that because I'm already starting to confuse myself. But the gist of this is this replaces that cable point to point, okay? And turning these on and powering these up is so simple. You have a power over ethernet. This is your ethernet cable, your network cable, right? Comes with it, comes with two power adapters. On the bottom, it says uh, PoE, or on the side, PoE and LAN. So PoE means that's where my power is going and I need it to go into one of the LAN ports here, which I would go into LAN one. And then my network cable coming out of my router or my switch would go into here. So network in, power and network out to the device. When I plug this in, it's gonna power up. I'm gonna see lights here, but more importantly, there are, uh, there's a channel indicator down here that's gonna say uh, one, two, three, four, five, I can set it to whatever. I need that to be the same on both of these. So before I go install it, I'm gonna power them up, set them down, and make sure that I'm on the same channel. Good news is, out of the box, they both came already set to the same channel. I changed it just so they weren't on the default from one to two or two to three, whatever. And there's also a little dip switch in there that says A, B. A is master, B is slave. A, master, connects to the internet. Slave is the receiving side. That's all you really need to know. I also got these great uh, mounts from Olna as well. And again, all of this stuff was sent to me free of charge to test out, which was a beautiful deal because I need internet in the barn. I get virtually no internet because that's a metal building. So... We're only going about 105 to 120 feet. I'm gonna mount one of these to the side of the house here. Where I'm mounting it, I may have interference, we'll see, but I don't think so. And then this is gonna get bolted onto the barn dominium, and then my uh, cables will get drilled and put inside the building. Eventually, I will have upstairs and downstairs internet enabled. That's it, that's the gist of it. Let's get these installed, hook them up, and then we'll see what kind of speeds we're getting over there. Okay, so for uh, simplicity's sake, uh, I'm just going to mount onto this right here. I have my power over ethernet enabled connection from inside the house. We have power, I've got red light coming on. So now I'm gonna put on my waterproof cover, cover that up. So I just have a zip tie we're gonna put through the back of this and around this pole. Next stop, looks like uh, three, four feet above that garage door on the corner. Okay, so I decided based on the fact that it's cold out and I'm sick, I'm gonna make a quick install here instead of getting a ladder out, trying to get this all hooked up permanently to the building. So we're gonna put in here. So it's like it's and our power from inside. And we got full bars. Let's uh, go inside and hook up the laptop. Okay, so things got a little clunky <clears throat> where I was not getting power over ethernet to my 
uh, access point. So I went ahead and put the power over Ethernet adapter back on. So we're coming out of the uh, bridge into the uh, as my LAN cable into the power over Ethernet, which is plugged in to the uh, Wi-Fi access point. So here we are now. Look for our Wi-Fi access point. Here we got Wavelink AC, Wavelink in. Okay, so we're hooked up to the uh, the Wavelink here, which is hooked up to the bridge outside. We got 50 down. and about five up, maybe six. So something's up with my configuration. I need to check that out, figure out why the Wavelink is giving me such poor uh, throughput. When I hook direct to the bridge, I'm getting much higher. So something on my configuration here, but that's still pretty darn good. So um, I'm gonna call that a, um, a uh, successful test. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.